Hey guys, welcome back. So I have a, well I guess it's my second order from the Father's Day sale. My other two have not shipped yet. I planned on making like just one more video for the Father's Day sale, but those haven't, those last two orders haven't even shipped yet. So I just figured I would just film the second one and then hopefully those two will come in around the same time. I think they're placed relatively close together. So Anyways, I hope you guys don't mind. Ooh, that was really loud. My computer is like waking up. Anyways, so hope you guys don't mind me filming multiple Father's Day hauls. So, all right, so let's get into this haul. I got a sample of Grover and I have a full clam of this scent and people rave about it, but honestly, I the more I smell it, the less I like it. It's supposed to be like cotton candy, cola float, and co or co what is it? Cotton candy cookies and co Coca Cola, something like that. I don't know. It's kind of funky. I'll try it in the sample size. I'm glad I got this so I can try it just as a sample, and then if I don't like it, I will destash the clam. So, anyways, so that's my sample, and I forgot to mention a little information before I get into the actual order. So Super Tarts is owned by Brandy Williams or Brandy Tarts on Facebook. She uh, does restocks I think just about every Friday. So join the group and you'll be able to get updates on the website or the restocks. And uh, her website's pretty much open 24 seven. So um, anyways, yeah. So I will link her website in the description box. So I did get a couple repurchases out of this order, but we'll get into that. So first I have Raphael, which is fresh picked strawberries and watermelon jolly ranchers i did get this in a d stash not too long ago but since it was offered i went ahead and got more because i really liked it on cold i get both of those scents equally i get slightly a little bit i get a little bit more of the watermelon jolly rancher just a little bit but you still get that strawberry scent that i love so much so i'm looking forward to giving this a try this is a new to me scent, Dr. Doom, which is patchouli, Madagascar, black pepper, and a super creamy vanilla bean. Um, sorry, I couldn't read it through my camera. <laughs> Ooh, this is nice. It's definitely manly, musky, you definitely get the patchouli. I like that though. It, it's probably gonna be one that I would have to be in the mood to melt. Or I might just let my husband melt it because I he still hasn't melted anything in the warmer I gave him. I'm kind of I'm kind of annoyed. I'm just gonna have to set it up for him because he is never gonna set it up. He put it in in his little area and didn't plug it in or anything, and I gave him a whole box of wax. So this is up his alley though because he really likes the patchouli like musky scents. You do get that patchouli and you get the black pepper and it is creamy. So I think you can get all of those notes in this. Next is Poseidon, which is blue sugar, cotton candy, sea salt, and beechwood. I have this already, and I do really enjoy this one. It's very sweet and fresh. At first, it kind of smelled like Windex to me on cold, like a sweet Windex. But I have melted it, and it did turn out to be a very beautiful scent. All of these notes come together to create like a sweet manly note and I really really enjoy this one so I just picked up another one since it was included in the sale. Next I have Solo which is pheromones, tangerine, and sandalwood. This one just looked interesting and I was trying to go for a bunch of scents that I haven't tried before. Ooh that's really good. It's it's a uh, I don't actually get the tangerine right off the bat. I mainly smell the sandalwood. That's all I can smell right now. I like that though. Um, hopefully the other notes will come out when it's melting, but I like it with the sandalwood as a strong note. Okay, next we have Mr. Hyde. I did get Dr. Jekyll in my first haul. This one is French Baguette, Wildberry Mousse, Mac Apple, and Cinnamon Sticks. This is way out of my comfort zone because of that French Baguette. I've never smelled that before, so I just took a leap of faith. <laughs> Brandy definitely knows how to blend stuff, so I'm hoping I'll like this one. Okay, so I'm smelling the cinnamon sticks. I slightly get that bakery note. It's actually not bad. And I do get that. It's like an apple cinnamon. I don't really get the wildberry mousse, but 
I would say this is more of a fall scent to my nose because it is kind of spicy. It's got that like apple cinnamon note. So this is not disappointing. I actually enjoy this one, even though I was afraid of that French baguette. So next is Michel Paul Mitchell uh, Akui. I don't know how you say that. Ginger ale, melons, and deep plum. I do already have this, but I really like this one. People are particularly, I can't read it, stupid today. I don't know. I already know, though, that Michelle is crazy, so I can't read that. People are particularly stupid today, and I won't talk to anyone of, I don't know. And I should know this because I'm a huge Gilmore Girls fan, but he's always complaining about the guests at the hotel. Or the inn, my bad. So, you do get that ginger ale. You get the plum. I would say the plum is very prominent. The melon is a slight background note. And unfortunately, I've never smelled that Paul Mitchell stuff. But I think Paul Mitchell is like a hair brand or whatever. So, it's probably some sort of like shampoo. I don't really smell that. Or I don't know what it smells like. So, I could be smelling it, but... I do not know. Okay, so next we have Yondu, which is avocado and sea salt, raspberry and nectarine ambrosia. I don't know how I never saw this on her site because it sounds really good. Ooh, that is nice. I get the raspberry. I get the raspberry and the nectarine mainly. I don't really smell the cactus and sea salt. Oh, I guess it's not cactus and sea salt. It's avocado and sea salt. I'm going to pop this one out and smell the bottom. So, I can't say that I smell the avocado. I definitely get a fresh scent. A fruity, fresh scent. So, this is really nice. Looking forward to melting that. It'll be a good bathroom scent. Next is another clam of Winter Soldier. I do like this. Although, when I first smelled it, I did say it smelled like um, Windex. Which it does. Like, it smells like Windex to me. An apple-y Windex. Now, when it melts, though, it's a different type of scent, and I really do like it. It doesn't smell like Windex when it's melting. I just smell that on cold. And I'm glad I gave it a try, because honestly, when I got this as a in a de-stash, I was like, ew, it just smells like Windex. I'm not going to melt it. I'll give it away or whatever. And I turned out to really like it, so. All right, so last clam is Toodles, which is a repurchase, Ice Lemonades, Sweet Lollipops, and Gain. I had to get my hands on two of these just because I knew they'd sell out quickly. And it smells so, so, so good. You really do get the lemonade scent. And I don't know, like, like I said before, I definitely get the lollipops, but like I said before, you can't really smell the Gain on cold, to me at least. I normally can pick up gain very strong. It's usually very heavy and strong, but I don't really, I pick up something in there, but it's not like gain to my nose. So I'm looking forward to melting this. I'm going to let it cure because they were just poured before the restock. So I'll let it cure a little bit and then I'll give it a go. All right, guys. So that is my part two, I guess. We're going to hopefully have just another part three for the Father's Day sale. Um, I will just hold back on filming for the next haul. When I get it in, but I just, uh, it was gonna, it hasn't even shipped yet, those last two orders, so I just figured I would film this for you guys now. Alright guys, let me know your thoughts on some of these scents, uh, which ones you've had, which ones you like, and um, stay tuned for some more hauls. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.